Leon was a terrific leader. I could feel he was finally taking me seriously, especially with Dana being missing. I knew he was still in love. After all, didn't he cross the globe to rescue her? But we all thought he arrived too late, that Dana had died with her parents during the pogroms. So, I believed his mourning would eventually come to an end. And that's when Dana fell from the sky, literally. Dana was sent by London, right? To oversee that operation led by your resistance network? The exfiltration of a civilian to Switzerland recall correctly. Indeed. But Leon never told us that Dana was involved. Maybe he was afraid to believe it himself. Should have seen them, Fraulein. It was as if they had never left each other. Do you know if... if Dana ever mentioned a child? Maybe they were planning to have one in Baltaya. Who knows? In Baltaya? Yes. That's all they ever talked about. How they were going to live over there after the war, along with Ludwig and his tribe. But it was to be just another broken dream. Right. I should call London now. My radio's downstairs. One of Leon's paintings. He did one of me posing on the terrace that summer when we met. He even gave me the painting so I would think of him when he was in Baltea. I expect it got destroyed by the brown shadow when they pillaged Papa's gallery. Herr Gustav housed me here when I worked at the refuge. I have so many fond memories with Leon here. 
When I left for London with Junta, I never thought I'd see the place again, let alone be here again with Leon. Leon's drawing book. I recognize the mountains of Vargen in these drawings. Leon must have drawn them during his expeditions in the region. These drawings date from the summer we met, when I worked here. These landscapes don't look like they're from the Wagen region. Leon must have done these drawings when he was in Baltaya with the Origin expedition. This is a drawing of the Gorons. The Goran's Lair. The Goran's Lair. Leon's men must have settled down in the dormitories. Personal effects in a heap. Can't be a good sign. Junta Stash. I doubt I'll find anything of use there to amplify the radio signal. So Yunta never did come back to retrieve it. Not surprising, really, I suppose, given the fact that a world war broke out. What a mess. Herr Gustav must have turned Junta's dark room into a storeroom after she left. Judging by these installations, Leon's network seems particularly well organized. Pity the same can't be said for all the resistance networks the Foreign Office deals with.
May I? Goran described Leon as his brother. They must have shared lots of adventures together since Leon saved him from the clutches of Herberger. Lenny and the Goran seemed close. It's nice that she's found a friend. Not that Herr Gustav lacked affection for her, but she spent too much time alone in that refuge. Two brothers and sisters in arms. You can sense that the three of them stand together as one. Your drawings are beautiful. For you, Dana Rose. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ludwig. It's almost as if you were there with us that night. Leon told me. Did he speak about me? All the time. I should go now. Talk to you later, Mr. Ludwig. Mm -hmm. oh, it looks like Leon and me in this drawing. The Goron must have drawn it from Leon's accounts of us. If this propaganda against the resistance fighters is anything to go by, the brown shadow must be pretty desperate. Looks like the Goron must be a nightmare for the brown shadow. He must be the super resistant I heard so much about in London. Harold Exner, a scientist with vital information for the war effort, according to the Foreign Office. His cover has recently been blown, which has led to this operation. Better not say anything during the briefing, but apparently Exner has a reputation for being rather hot-headed. The refuge, the place where it all began between me and Leon. Switzerland. The package will be safe over there. We'll need to cross Devil's Pass with the package in order to reach Switzerland. They say it's not the most daunting pass, but still, you need to be escorted by a professional alpinist. The refuge. It'll be the departure point for our expedition into Switzerland tomorrow. The Allies are unable to send enough supplies to the Resistance fighters for them to completely let go of their good old-fashioned methods. An arms stash. Since the departure of Herr Gustav, Resistance fighters have been using this place as an outpost. Hmm. Shouldn't think the Brown Shadow appreciate Leon and his group throwing their own grenades at them. Why did Herr Gustav leave the refuge? Did the brown shadow force him?
Lenny! Hmm? What do you want? It's amazing how you've grown. How have you been since last time? Fine, I guess. I found out that the refuge was closed down by the Brown Shadow a few years ago. Turns out your network did the best of it. But... What about Herr Gustav? Is he... Dead? No, he's not dead. Although, for me, he might just as well be. It's quite incredible when I think of you and Leon fighting alongside someone who comes from so far away. Yeah. After Leon saved him during the expedition in Baltayar, Mr. Ludwig's tribe took him in during the winter months. They became inseparable, like brothers. So much so that Mr. Ludwig insisted on coming back here with Leon. Now he's our most ferocious fighter, the terror of the brown shadow. See you later, Lenny. We'll talk later, Dana. We'll have to cross that tomorrow. It's daunting. Not because of the crossing, though. Leon knows it like the back of his hand. No, because of what will happen between us afterwards. I know I'll have to face the fact that London won't let me stay with him once we've escorted the civilian into Switzerland. And Leon would never accept to leave his men and follow me to London as long as the war's still raging. Once again, everything seems to be against us. But at least I've seen him. At least I know he still loves me. And we'll have plenty of time to catch up when we'll leave for Baltayar after the war. So, best not dwell. I'll have all day tomorrow to feel sorry for myself. Have you called London yet?
I read Leon's network uses the old caves over there to escape from the brown shadow. That's smart. Sky's darkening. Doesn't bode well. Let's just hope it'll clear up by the morning. Devil's Pass. Once we've crossed it, getting into Switzerland shouldn't be a problem. Aren't you supposed to call London? Best not go too far. Leon talks about you all the time. Lenny's old room. I should stay away. Gustav's old radio. I remember we spent many an evening listening to serials when I worked here that summer. This is the transmitter Herr Gustav told me he'd cobbled together to compensate for the wave disturbance caused by the mountains. Should be able to use it for my own radio to contact London. Once this antenna is connected, there must be a way to open it. There must be something else I can plug into it. There must be something else I can plug into it. Once this antenna is connected, there must be a way to open it. What a mess. Herr Gustav must have turned Junta's dark room into a storeroom after she left.
Judging by these installations, Leon's network seems particularly well organized. Pity the same can't be said for all the resistance networks the Foreign Office deals with. You should go, Dana. Everyone is counting on you. We'll talk later, Dana. Is everything all right, Herr Exner? You seem a little upset. If it's about your exfiltration tomorrow, I can assure you there's nothing to be worried about. Leon is the best for- I couldn't care less about tomorrow. So what is it then? It's my wife, Andrea. It's like I said to your... your goons there. I can't leave without her. Your wife? I'm sorry, Herr Exnell, but we have no orders regarding... I don't care about your orders. I'm not leaving without Andrea. Do you hear me? I won't! You think I'm a bastard, don't you? A selfish bastard ready to risk people's lives to recover the woman he loves. That's what you all think, isn't it? Up to now, you haven't exactly shown us your best side, have you? If you had, we might have had a better opinion of you. I take full responsibility for my actions, and I expect no pity in return. But would a little understanding be too much to ask? I mean, what would you do in my shoes? Hmm? What would you do if they asked you to abandon that alpinist you seem to be so fond of for the common good? Eh? Because that's what you're asking me to do with Andrea. Well, to be perfectly honest, I suppose if I were in your shoes, I would pull out all the stops to protect those who are dear to me. I see. Thank you, Fräulein. Well, everyone seems all right, more or less. I should get back to the radio now. This part of the radio is used to receive messages. I need my documents so I can find the right setting. They're in a side pocket of my bag. This part of the radio is used to transmit messages. This part of the radio is used to transmit messages. I need my documents so I can find the right setting. They're in a side pocket of my bag. Empty.
Maybe Herr Gustav's homemade radio is still around here somewhere. That should boost the signal. Perfect. Nothing. I should turn the radio on first. This part of the radio is used to receive messages. Impossible. This part of the radio is used to transmit messages. I need to extend the antenna for the radio to work. Better try another one. Nothing. I should turn the radio on first.
The instructions to find out the reception frequency are in one of the documents that the Foreign Office provided. Then, I need to copy it to my radio receiver. There must be a connection between the contact code and Morse in order to find out the reception frequency. This part of the radio is used to receive messages.
This part of the radio is used to transmit messages. I need to adjust the frequency settings properly to contact London. London, come in. London, do you read me? Over. We've made contact. Package safe and sound. I repeat, we've made contact. Package... Out of the question! I'm not moving from here without her! London, please wait a moment. Over. What's going on? You! Tell London I'm not leaving without my wife. Herr X, now listen, I... No, you listen. Andrea is my closest collaborator. With regard to the Allied war effort, she is just as important as me. She is in Wagen as I speak, hiding at some friend's place under a false identity. You must bring her here and smuggle her into Switzerland with me. There's no way we're going back to Wagen. Brown Shadow troops have overrun the entire town. We can't risk delaying our departure. A storm coming. Danger. I'm not moving from here without her. London, did you hear that? Roger that. Over and out. They say we can't allow Frau Exner to be captured and risk her letting the cat out of the bag. What are you waiting for then? Send someone to fetch her! Hang on! You're not asking me to... Sorry, Lenny. We haven't got a choice. Ludwig can't go about in public in Wagen, and I have to prepare everything to get them through Devil's Pass tomorrow. You're the only one I trust enough to... Why can't she go? I understand you're angry, Lenny, but that's not in my orders. My mission consists of protecting Herr Exner at all cost. I can't just leave him here and go off to Wagen. Dan is right, Lenny. And besides... And besides... It's too dangerous. Leon! All right, then. I'll go. Lenny, wait! Leon's reaction and his unconditional love for Dana drove me mad with rage. So I decided to take my revenge by making a detour. It was a detour I would regret for the rest of my life.
No one was supposed to have gotten hurt, I promise. I promise, Fraulein. I just didn't want Leon to leave me forever. To leave with her. But it was a fool's bargain, as I should have known from the beginning. more than anything in the world. Come on, let's go! Ironic, isn't it? But the worst was yet to come. Enough for Leon to lead the civilians to the foot of Devil's path. Come <laughs> on. 
Ludwig has been searching for Leon's remains since then. But it took the thaw due to global warming to uncover the bodies. And with them, my crime. Precisely when you decided to show up, Fraulein. Lenny. Dear Ludwig, can you ever <clears throat> for... <clears throat> Mr. Ludwig, please. Don't, Fraulein. I deserve this. Let's get this over with, Fraulein. Let me tell you about the last time I ever saw Dana, and then I'll be done. Okay, I'm listening. It was a year after Leon died, just after the liberation of Vargan. <laughs> 